Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. In this video you'll see my epic day trip to Iceland to Reykjavik, the capital. Um, I'll be flying out from Gatwick with EasyJet this, uh, on this uh, fine morning. Uh, and then from there uh, I'll be seeing Sunrise twice. Yes, you heard me, twice. Um, because you leave, I leave in daylight and because Iceland has a short uh, daytime these where it's located in the rail during the winter months. Um, it gets dark on the plane and then sunrise all over again. Uh, and then when I'm out there, daylight was short and it got dark again about three hours later. Um, you'll see that all in my video. I do hope you enjoy this video um, with me. And before I go into the video, let's share some facts about this fascinating destination. Let's see what you didn't know about Reykjavik and Iceland. I'll join you later on when I do my maths uh, to tell you how much this costs at the end. Stay with me. Reykjavik is the capital of Iceland located on the west coast. It is home to just 223,000 people which is two thirds of the country's population. Iceland became a sovereign city in 1918 after signing a union treaty that ended Denmark's rule over the country. From that moment on, Reykjavik has held the title of northernmost capital city of a sovereign state in the world. In 2011, Reykjavik became the first non-native English native city to be designated a UNESCO City of Literature. This highlighted the outstanding literary history the city has. The tallest building in Reykjavik is a church. The 244 feet high church is the tallest building. Since its completion in the 1980s, the hilltop church has become one of the most recognisable images of the city. There's plenty of things to do in Reykjavik all year, including Viking Age history of the island, all the way to enjoying the many geothermal heated pools. Reykjavik is one of the greenest cities in the world. 85% of Iceland's energy needs are met through geothermal and hydropower. Despite plans to build a high-speed rail link between the city and the capital's international airport, a national railway network has never been developed in Iceland. This is due to the small population and complicated geology. Reykjavik is almost crime-free with almost no crime committed despite the international popularity of the city. In 2019, Iceland's Minister of Justice said there had been just 37 intentional homicides in the entire country in the previous 20 years. This makes Iceland one of the safest countries to visit in the world. Reykjavik is the world's only capital city with a major puffin breeding colony. While well, climate change is definitely increasing temperatures in Iceland, especially in the winter, it remains one of the cloudiest and coolest capital cities in the world. To be precise, the record temperature in Reykjavik is just 25.8 degrees or 78.3 Fahrenheit. This was recorded in July 2008. There is not a single McDonald's in the whole of Iceland since the single restaurant closed in 2009. This makes it being one of the only countries in the world without a McDonald's. But fast food fans, you don't need to worry as you can enjoy Taco Bell, KFC, Domino's and Pizza Hut. Iceland has one of the world's oldest democracies. The parliament dates back to 930 AD and is considered one of the first parliaments in the world. Iceland has a population of 375,000 people. If you count all Icelanders that have lived since the settlement in the late 9th century, the population does not meet 1 million. If you count all the tourists, it would surpass 1 million. Last year, Iceland received around 2 million tourists. So in any one year, Iceland will probably see five times its own population in tourists. 
Iceland is the only nation in the world that does not have its own army, air force or navy. It relies solely on NATO for its defence. Lastly, let's finish with a fun fact. Many Icelanders still believe in elves. In a survey in 1998, 54.4% of Icelanders said they believe in elves in some form. There is a belief that building roads through elf territory can result in terrible consequences and their belief is so strong that the Icelandic Road and Coastal Administration Department has a five-page standard reply for queries and complaints about elves. Hello guys from Gatwick South Terminal. Today I've got a trip to Reykjavik which is in Iceland. Uh, today I'm going to Iceland in Reykjavik. It's going to be cold, uh, the current temperature forecast is for it to be 1 degree throughout the whole day, uh, feels like minus 2, uh, so I'm definitely going to need my hot and gloves with, luckily for me I've got it in my bag, uh, so it's going to be a cold one, uh, it's currently quarter to 6, flight departs at 8 o'clock, um, it's a short uh, day, uh, day to be fair, um, in terms of daylight, uh, sunrise is at 11.30 out there and sunset is at 3pm uh, because of where it's located. Uh, I arrive at half 11, so maybe it'll be dark when I land, maybe it'll just be getting light, who knows. Um, and yeah, uh, I've, when I land at half 11, my flight then departs in the evening at 6pm. Uh, going to have a quick look around Retrovic uh, and then get the coach back. It's now a coach ride when I go to Retrovic to get into the city. But hey, let's see how it goes. I'm going to get a shuttle first across the North Terminal, so that's where my flight's departing from. I'll join you after security. <laughs> Password security. Time now is at uh, just gone six o'clock, so I've got two hours here. I'm now going to get my full English weather spin. I will get back to you when I'm in Iceland. I shall see you when I am freezing cold. See you then.
hello from a cold and snowy Iceland. I've landed, we landed about 10 minutes late because it got up to ages for us to depart because of air traffic control restrictions. But hey, I'm here now. It never gets out. I've been to Iceland before, um, especially this time of year. So you depart in daylight, and you come halfway through to Iceland and it's dark again. And then you see sunrise all over again, which is fun. Uh, it never gets out. It's really weird to see that. But anyway, I'm now at the airport in Iceland. I'm going to get the coach uh, down to the centre of Reykjavik, uh, which is the capital. And then from there, I'm going to spend a couple of hours before getting the public bus back to the airport and then back to London. It's a very quick adventure today, and I shall see you in Reykjavik. Hello guys from Retrofic. Just got off the coach here. Um, I forgot to mention earlier that actually it's, it's the same time zone. Another country. Uh, Iceland don't actually change their clocks uh, like most of the world. So during the winter, same time as the UK. During the summer, it's a one hour difference. Um, yeah, so I'm now, in, like I say, in the central Retrofic. It's actually quite a nice bit of snow while I was on the coach. The scenery was excellent. Um, trying to keep myself awake, uh, float here. <sighs> because, yeah, you can always tell by the way I'm talking, it's freezing and I'm trying to be careful, watch my feet because it's snow everywhere. But I'm going to enjoy my day in freezing cold, snowy Iceland. Have a look around, we've got about two hours here, and then I'm going to get the public bus back to the airport. Oh, I've been here a few times before, uh, but like I say, uh, yeah, Iceland is actually an expensive country. Um, so you do need some money if you do go out here, but it is a nice country. Away from which you've got all the mountains and you've got like the Blue Lagoon and stuff like that, which is really nice. Um, but I haven't got time. Normally when I go to Iceland, I do actually go a bit further, you know, further down the coast to places like that, you know, uh, explore Iceland a bit, but today I haven't actually got much time, so I'm sticking to the city, which I've been to many times before, I know my way around it quite well, it's a really nice place to go, but anyway, I shall get back to you later on, see what this city has to offer, shall we? Always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where you're at. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying awake. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. It never rings in California. The sun is always shining. Staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying Nothing's growing where you're at 
hot as fire But baby, I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in the sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold California The sun is always shining right Hello guys, so I'm now by the waterfront uh by where the ferry pulled into the dock, it's just over there, I've just said that. Um, it's really picturesque over the waterfront, as you can see behind me there. There you go. So you've got the views to the mountains, you've got the clouds which hover by the mountains, it just makes for a picturesque scene. Um, it is really a lovely place, Iceland. Um, I would definitely recommend for people to come here. Um, yeah, so I'll continue exploring and I'll leave you with some more pictures of the scenery and I'll catch up with you guys later guys that is all i have time for here in retrofit i had a couple of hours here to explore uh, and like i say, said before it's always beautiful here in iceland 
no matter what time of the year you go, even if it is winter and snowing, there's always something to do. And that being said, uh, I haven't had time to explore lots of ice. I've only had to explore the city today, but even the city's beautiful. Um, but hey, this is all I have time for. Uh, I'm now on my way back to the bus station. Once I get to the bus station, I'll be getting the public bus number 55 which is much cheaper than the coach, uh, down back to the airport. Uh, and then I shall join you later at the airport. Hopefully my flight's on time. It's just a few issues at uh, Rectific Airport earlier. Uh, hopefully it's still been rectified and my flight's on time. But nevertheless, I shall get back to you later. See you then. <laughs> Hello guys, so I'm now at Reykjavik Airport, I've passed through security, my plane's in about now in 10 minutes actually, uh, the bus was late, luckily I've still made the plane, it was an hour late, uh, sorry, the plane's in an hour and my bus was about 20 minutes late, uh, so, but there's no queue at security, straight through in about a matter of minutes. And now it's a case of just waiting for my flight back. Uh, snow still. It started snow when I was just arriving actually on the coach. Um, yeah, I enjoyed my day here in Vectrific. And I'll join you back in the UK later. See you then. <laughs> Hello, and I hope you enjoyed my snowy adventure to Iceland. Now let's get down to the numbers. Let's see how much this shilt trip costed me. Let's start with the all-important flights. The return flights from London to Retrofic, but through eDreams, costed me £76.98, or in Icelandic kroner, 13,414 kroners. Food and drinks whilst in the UK costed me £24.33 or 4,253 Icelandic kroner. The coach from the airport to the city centre costed me £28.59 or 4,999 Icelandic kroner. Snacks and drinks whilst in Iceland costed me a total of £22.43 or 3,922 Icelandic kroner. The public bus from the city to the airport costed me only £13.04 or 2,280 Icelandic kroner. Oh, how much did that all cost me in total? Let's see, shall we? All that added up costed me a total of £165.37 or 28,868 Icelandic kroner. All in all, it was not actually that bad considering Iceland is known as a very expensive country. Uh, I didn't spend much, so that probably helped. But it was a reasonably cheap trip compared to the country that I was going to. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next travel video. Until then, happy travelling. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my video.